This November we marked a hundred years since the end of World War I. Across the island and in every parish we stood together to remember those who gave their lives for our freedom. And the heartstone of the Gillemore Memorial is now in the Royal Court entrance, symbolising the homecoming of our soldiers. Brexit has been generating a media storm uh, with the release of the long-awaited draft withdrawal agreement. And we have a strong and productive relationship with the UK government and I'm confident our interests will be taken into account as negotiations continue. The external relations team continues to speak to the UK government and is working hard to prepare for any deal that emerges. And as part of our Brexit preparations, we're working to develop our international profile. And this month, Senator Gorse and I have both visited major economies outside the EU, in the Middle East, and I'm speaking to you from Hong Kong and I'm going on to China. Our ties with jurisdictions across the globe will help us to ensure to equip the growth in the economy for future generations. This month also saw the release of the Hospital Policy Board's report, uh, which examined the evidence for the decision to build a new hospital on the existing site. And the Board worked incredibly hard over the past four months, and I'm grateful for their dedication. The Council of Ministers will now discuss the report's findings, and the issue will be debated in the State's Assembly early next year. And earlier this month, we held our first Stateswide Staff Awards event, where we celebrated the achievements of individuals and teams across government. And it's important to recognise those who go above and beyond what's expected and I'd like to congratulate those um, who are the, A, the nominees and B, the winners of these inaugural awards. And I'd like to end by remembering Deborah, Deputy Richard Rondell, who sadly died uh, last week after a long illness. My thoughts were for Richard's friends and family, his wife, his three sons, and all those who remember him fondly. Richard served the island and his parish with genuine compassion and will, will be much missed by all of us. Rest in peace, Richard.